Every time the seasons change, I like to go through my wardrobe and see what do I need to take out and what do I need to add. And I've always struggled in the shoe department. Like my shoe game, it, it don't be given like I needed to give. Show me you can act right and I call you back, back, back. If I let you in, then baby, then get too attached, attached, attached. Hello, hello, I'm Yvette Renee and welcome back to another video. So today is all about shoes. Every time the seasons change, I like to go through my wardrobe and see what do I need to take out and what do I need to add. And I've always struggled in the shoe department. Like my shoe game, it, it don't be given like I needed to give. Clothes, I got you, but shoes, child. So this year I am working on expanding my shoe collection and just making sure I have different shoes for different occasions. I have a lot of dressy shoes, but I don't have a lot of casual shoes that aren't sneakers. So that's what this haul is about. Um, I went over to Dream Pairs, that's the company. They're actually a company on Amazon, but I went to their website to get these shoes. I will leave all of the links for you guys in the description below, just in case you see something that you are interested in. So without further ado, let's get started. So I've always been obsessed with cowboy boots. I just never took the leap to get them, but we're, we're done with all of that. I got three different pair and I'm really, really excited because I'm very, very satisfied. So these first pair are the pointed toe embroidered cowboy boot. I got them in a size 11. Um, they come in sizes six to 11 and they actually come in three different colors. I got the black. Um, they stop right below the knee, so I guess you can kind of consider them knee highs. But I really, really love the pointed toe. I'm trying to up the ante on my casual footwear. However, I want to be able to dress up the shoe if I need to. And I feel like pointed toe boots offer that versatility versus rounded toe, which is usually more for a casual look. I do like the details on the shoe. They have embroidery on the sides as well as on that top base of the shoe. Still along with the casual, but wanting to dress up, I got these with the heel. These are three and a half inches on the heel. They do make that heel sound, but they're super, super comfortable. They're not stiff at all like you would think a cowboy boot would be, which I like. And then they have pull tabs on the outer sides of the shoe, not the inner. Now with these, there is a zipper on the inner side of the shoe, which makes it easy to put on and put off. And overall, I'm super, super satisfied. And I, I can't wait to style this. Now still on my cowboy boot kick, I got the mid calf Western cowboy boots. Um, I wanted to get different lengths and different colors in the cowboy boots just to, you know, try out different looks and see what I could really come up with. Now, I got this particular one in both tan and white. Now, these come in sizes 5 to 11, and it is also embroidered like the black ones. So it has the embroidery on the sides and on the base, and the embroidery on these shoes are so beautiful. So beautiful, so clean. The stitching looks really, really good. They have the pull tabs on both sides sides both on the outside and on the inside because there is no zipper so these are a slip-on cowboy boot but they go on pretty easily and come off pretty easily it's nothing like oh it's so tight to squeeze it in very very pleased with that and then the heel very very subtle heel even though the black ones have that three and a half inch heel it's still just as comfortable as the brown and the white. Now transitioning from the cowboy boot to a more traditional boot. These are called the studded crossover strap stiletto boot. I got them in the color white. They do offer these in four different colors and these come in sizes six to 11. Now, even though you do have a nice pointy heel and the pointed toe these are comfortable it does have a zipper on the inside of the shoe for putting on and putting off now that zipper detail at the front that has nothing to do with the fitting or anything it's just simply decoration and then the studs on the straps that cross over in the front i like the details on the shoe i've actually seen this shoe i've been seeing this shoe for the last couple months and i just i i didn't get it but i told myself this spring I'm getting it. I think it's a cute shoe that you can wear in both winter and spring and fall, actually. But I'm super, super excited to pair these shoes. I have so many outfit ideas. M most importantly, I'm looking forward to pairing it with a nice jean skirt or even like a really cute bodysuit kind of sort of vibe. So moving away from the boots, I got some chunky loafers. Y'all, I love, 
I love me some lovers. And these are so cute, so comfortable. They have this cushion on the inside. These are probably the most comfortable shoe that I got in this haul. Now I did get a size 10 in the loafers. Reading their website, it, you know, they'll make a disclaimer. Hey, these are big, these are small. And I also read the reviews. So with the loafer, I did go smaller and it fits perfect. I love the lug outsole on the bottom. So it means you have a good grip. So it's not going to be a slippery shoe whatsoever. And I really, really like the padded collar that they have. So you know how sometimes if the collar of a, of a loafer or some type of shoe that has that collar like that, if it's too thin, it'll like rub against your foot and it'll be uncomfortable. Not these. It's padded. So it's very, very cushioned as, as cushioned all around inside the shoe and how the shoe fits. Now they offer these in sizes five to 11, half sizes available. They have them in just two colors, but the blacks, they offer a regular black and they also offer a patent black. Now, I don't know why I didn't pay attention to their disclaimer on these mules, but I think I got them a size too big. I've been dying to get some mules. I love the style of the mules. I love how they look sophisticated, but very, very casual, like perfect for, you know, a cute midday lunch or, or something, or to wear them in the office. Look dressy, but not have on that dressy. You, you get what I'm saying. These are called their buckle pointed toe flat mules. Now they do say, on the site that these run big but I was afraid to get them in a size 10 and have my foot hanging off so what I've noticed that they mean by they run big I think they run wide um I'm curious if I would have because my the length of my foot it fits well in the shoe if it's perfect my toes aren't too forward in the shoe my foot's not hanging off but it is big around the actual front part if that makes any sense like it, it seems a bit more wide um um, I wonder if the 10 and a half would have been, if I went down in size, if it would have been more snug around the top of the foot or if their sizes have to do with the length of the shoe. So just keep that in mind if you're interested in these shoes. Um, I would probably size down. I do think I'm going to return them and try out the 10 um, to see if that gives me a better foot as far as snugness around the top of my shoe. Other than that, I love the look. Now, my feet are quite large, so flat shoes like this, I have to be careful. Like, if I put on a pair of skinny jeans with these shoes, I'll look like La Cienega Boulevard is. Yes, I would. I would. So my outfit idea behind getting these were more for like you know to wear them with a cute pair of slacks that go all the way down you know that have more of that flare or relaxed bottom versus the tailored or skinny trouser or jean i got these in the color off white um they come in sizes 5 to 11 and something i really like about these they offer these in suede offer them and it's either the suede or the black and off-white leather or faux leather excuse me and again i did stick with the pointed toe to dress up or dress down now last and certainly not least these were definitely too big for me my caveat with shoes sometimes i wear a 10 and sometimes i wear 11 and i really have to do my due diligence when picking things out to make sure that i get the proper shoe now i really thought that the 11 was going to be good for me but immediately when i put them on i'm like dang i could have sized down and i mean like from length and width now length i definitely could have went with a 10. with those two straps that you see on the outside they were not fit they like they didn't fit up against me and i don't know if that's the size i got i don't know if that's because of how the shoe is made but something i also noticed was the strap it wasn't i, I don't know if it's not made for small ankles or what but there are not enough holes to make it more secure around the ankle which i was a bit disappointed about um i am going to return these and get them in a smaller size i know that overall all around it's just too small like it's not like with the mules where I'm like okay would a smaller size make it smaller here or make it smaller here but with the open toe chunky heel sandal I know for a fact I needed to get a smaller size now aside from the fitting I love love the style of the shoe I love square 
toe heel shoes and that chunky I don't have any I don't have any chunky heel sandal heels lord that was a mouthful and I really wanted to try that I love the look of it I think it's a casual but dressy look um all of my heels are have a skinny heel so I'm definitely going to be returning these so that I can get me a, a proper pair now these also come in six different colors actually and um, they come in sizes 5 through 12. Aside from it not fitting it does have cushions actually similar to the loafers these are comfortable heels with a four inch heel and it to be comfortable like this I was pretty surprised that's why I really wish it would have fit but it's okay and the walk in these are comfortable as well even with them being big like usually if something is big it's like okay this is an uncomfortable but as far as like my foot being placed and walking thumbs up thumbs up so that concludes my mini haul for the day if you need any details i will leave everything in the description below remember they have a store on amazon if you want to check out their amazon store but they also have their main website which i will leave in the description and yeah let me know if you have any questions in the comments see y'all next time